Hey my lovely unicorns and non-unicorns and welcome to our second Christmas inspired nerd DIY. And yes, I do have some jiggly snowflakes on my head. I can see them in the camera view and it totally distracts me. And I hope it doesn't distract you and I try not to jiggle with my head all the time. Stop it! But back to the main theme, I actually would like to show you how to make this Sailor Moon Christmassy Decoden 3DS case. Pew. Pew. <laughs> As usual, I know I repeat myself, but we are going to start with the things we need. We need, of course, our 3DS hard plastic case. I would recommend going for the hard plastic case instead of the rubber one, as your whipped cream sticks better to the plastic case. And then, of course, you also need your fake whipped cream. I choose the white colored one. You can go for whatever color you like and prefer. You also get your tips with them and again, they're different sizes. Take and choose whatever size you like there. Then you also need either a nail file or fine sanding paper to grind down the surface of your case. And then also you need your main figures. I choose Sailor Moon, Sailor Jupiter and Sailor Mercury. And don't forget your super cute Christmas inspired cabochons. I ordered them from Sweet or Miniature Sweet on Etsy. They are a really, really cute store. I ordered a couple of times from them, always with awesome servers, awesome or nice people there. I would recommend getting their stuff. I will link uh, their shop down below in the description. Also, I will link the Amazon link where I got the hot uh, plastic case. And then just to little further decorate. I also got some rhinestones and some little pearls. And if you like, I also going to add some glitter uh, multi-surface color. So I'm going to add this, but this is totally optional and you can leave this out. We got everything, then let's start. So the first thing we are going to do now is grind down the surface of your case. This helps you to let the fake whipped cream stick better to your case. Then we are going to assemble our figures and capuchin just the way you like it. And if you got that, take a picture with your phone or your camera to remember your design. This helps you later on if you stick your figures back into the whipped cream. Surface prepared, design made and saved. Let's add our fake whipped cream. There are many different ways how you can apply it, how you can let it look. You can either do some drops or do a snail snake long kind of thingy. It's totally up to you. It's kind of the same as if you would decorate a cake. I applied my tip already on uh, our tube. Now cover the whole um, case with it. And then if you got this, you can put back all your um, figures and capuchins, just like you saved it on your picture. And then if you like, you can also add some more rhinestones and glittery pearls and kind of that stuff if you like. If not, then just leave it like that. Okay, we assembled our cabochons and figures back to the places we would like to have them and added a couple of rhinestones or other glittery stuff. By the way, don't worry if you mess up anything with the fake whipped cream. If you might accidentally splurge on too much or let a gap or anything, you will assemble your cabochons on top up anyway so you can hide a little bit there so don't worry at all so I'm now going to add my multi-surface glitter color again this is totally optional I just like to have this kind of melted ice cream or melted chocolate effect and then we are done Okay, there's one more thing I need to mention. You need to leave this dry at least overnight. Better over a weekend, two days. I know it's a long time, but I remember when I last made those Tokyo Google Decoden phone cases. I will link the video down below. And it really took me a couple of days till it was everything was dry. Especially like the outer part, those melted ice cream parts. It takes quite a while till it's dry. Uh, maybe if you use a different kind of color, it 
goes faster, but yeah, it takes a little bit for me. I mean, the whipped cream, no worries. I think it's dried overnight and you can use it uh, the next day. So if you leave the melted ice cream parts out, then you're totally fine. Still leave it dry overnight because you don't want to ruin either your phone or your 3DS. But all in all, it's so much fun to make these. It's such a cute gift or something so cute for yourself. And as always, I hope you enjoyed it. And we see us the next time. Thank you so much for watching. And till the next video, bye bye. It's time to make the middle part. Again, we need, of course, two of them. Could be even more characterized into good and bad. There's always hey my lovely unicorns and non-unicorns and welcome to our second Christmas inspired nerd DIY and yes I do have some jiggly 